All right, well, I made it back east, and that means more rain, more humidity. So I need to do something today that I've been procrastinating doing for a long time. I've got two windows that are leaking, my bedroom window here and my window on the other side in what used to be my dinette area. So they've been leaking for a while. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm a big procrastinator. But today, I'm going to reseal the windows the easy way. Nobody gonna do it for you. Got to find your own. First, I need to go into Walmart and find the supplies I need. I need to get some die core. I need a scraper, I think, to scrape off the old uh, die core on the windows. And unfortunately, I need to leave Sadie behind. But luckily, I have Waggle, so I can go into the store and do my shopping with peace of mind that Sadie is going to be okay because I've got alerts set up to let me know if it gets to be about 80 degrees in here, then I know I need to hurry up. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. We got Waggle. We got Waggle. You're gonna be okay. All right, we got the Waggle Pet Monitor. You're gonna be okay. We'll be right back, okay? Okay, so all we have is self leveling, which isn't gonna work. That's the stuff you put on your roof. All right. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <gasps> How's Sadie? Sadie's good. 76 degrees. It really helps. I mean, I worry about her. Every time I go into a store, I worry about her. So it really helps to know what the temperature is and so that I don't have to worry quite so much. All right, they have things. Silicone. You know what? I've just always used Dicor. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot and hopefully I can find some die core. If not, I have an old one at home. It's just old, and so I wanted to buy a new one just in case I started it and it, it's too old and um, dried up. But, all right, well, we know it's only 76 degrees, so, you know, the Waggle Pad monitor really gives me peace of mind, so I don't have to rush. I can go to Home Depot if I need to go, so. Good girl. You're nice and safe, huh? Yeah, it's nice and cool in here. It's only 79 degrees. Hi. Say thanks, Waggle. Say thank you for keeping me safe, Waggle. So the Waggle Pet Monitor with real-time monitoring of what's going on inside your vehicle when you have to leave your fur baby behind because you gotta do life, right? It gives you peace of mind and keeps your pets healthy. You'll always know what the temperature is, what the humidity is, whether your um, uh, power stays on if you have it plugged in in an RV park and you're running your AC. So Waggle Pet Monitor goes everywhere with us in the summer months just for peace of mind and because I love Sadie and want to keep her safe. So be sure to check out the video description below for a very special offer for my audience only using discount code Sadie55. You're going to get 55% off which is the best deal on the internet so get your waggle pet monitor using the link in the video description below so that you all can always have peace of mind when you're traveling with your fur baby I'm going to reseal the windows the easy way. I'm not going to do the whole take it out and replace the, the stuff underneath. I'm just going to take off the old um, die core and put a new seal of die core on and uh, take you through the process. Show you how to do it. Also, when you're doing your windows, you want to make sure you're using the lap non-leveling sag. So the regular die core, the leveling sag is what goes on your roof because it'll level out on your roof. You want the stuff that's not going to ooze all over the place. It's going to stay where you put it. So it's the lap sealant, non-leveling, non-sag. That's what you use for walls and windows and things like that because you don't want it running down. Alright, you're going to need a few supplies. Number one, you're going to need your die core lap, non-leveling, non-sag. You're going to need a caulking gun. I'm going to show you how to use all this in a minute. You're going to need a scraper. So I have this 
putty knife that I'm going to use, an X-Acto blade, razor blade, and I needed a coat hanger to puncture the tube. So I think that's about all you're going to need. Oh, and something to clean all the old gook off. You can use denatured alcohol. I didn't have any, so I just used gasoline and an old rag. And that's just going to get any residue off your windows because you need to make sure they're clean before putting the new stuff down. So if you're anything like me, you've probably never done this stuff before. And now all of a sudden living in an RV, it's all DIY, right? <laughs> so let me show you how all this stuff works and some things that I have learned to make my job a lot easier. The first thing that is extremely important that I learned uh, kind of reinforced this time, and I'm going to use a different tube because I've already opened the other tube, is how you cut the tip. How you cut the tip makes this job so much easier and neater and cleaner. I've always cut the tip way too thick. So the you'll see the tip, where are we? You know, you've got it wider and wider, wider and narrow. What I found for this job is I cut it super uh, thin. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very thin at the top, not all the way down where it's wide. And also you're gonna wanna cut it at an angle. So I'm gonna go down just a little bit. Look at that, with my X-Acto blade, maybe not even that much, and cut it off. There we go, look at that. So you're gonna wanna get a nice angle. You're gonna want the bead to be pretty small. It's easier to go smaller, so go, err on the side of going to the narrowest end of the tube, and then if you need to make it thicker, you can always cut a little bit more off. Rather than starting down here, then you're screwed. You can't get any thinner from there. So look at that. So I've got a nice opening there. And now you're just gonna clean it up to make the bead as smooth as possible when you're laying it down. Just smooth it out with the uh, blade, with the razor blade. Make sure there's no like edges of the plastic hanging off. Look at that, that's perfect. I'm telling you, this is the first time I did this right on this job and it makes it, can you see that? There you go. Oh, look at that. There you go, makes it so much easier. So again, this is just a practice tube. The caulking gun comes with a handy dandy little poker tool. So this is supposed to go down into the tip like that. I'm not going to puncture this new one because I don't need it. I don't think this is going to fit either. But you're, it's supposed to go into the tube and puncture the membrane inside to get it started. But this doesn't reach. Look at that. It doesn't reach. <laughs> so I had to use a coat hanger. It's a wire coat hanger. And you can see I stuck it down in the, in the thing. I'm not going to be able to do it in this one and I don't want to start it. But you just need to stick it all the way down there. You need to puncture the membrane down here in order to get it started. You see, I still have some in there. Then the next thing you do to put it in your caulking gun, I think when you buy it, it's gonna look like this, right? And just to, to release this pin, you just push on this and pull back, just like that. And then this just sets inside there. And you pull the trigger until the pin pushes the bottom and it starts coming out and then you just release that to pull it out to pull it out so you'll see see you have like a plunger here which is going to push the bottom of the tube and force out the die core so that's how that's how the caulking gun works i think that's it i think we're ready to get started Let's get this all done. Right. So you see I have old caulking all the way around here. And so um, it shouldn't be that hard to come off. I'm going to try to do uh, some gasoline and I'm just going to try to scrape it off with a scraper. So we'll see how that goes. Actually, you know what? I might just be able to do it with a scraper. Well, one benefit of waiting until your windows leak is that this stuff is super easy to get off. <laughs> it's really old. You can see the weather has just almost rotted it away. But if you do maintenance on a, on a regular basis and don't want to do this when your windows are already leaking, you can loosen it up with, I think, denatured alcohol or caulk remover or even gasoline. And I did run the gas gasoline rag over it a little bit, but that's not why it's coming off so easy. Between running a business and traveling full time, I don't have the time or the energy to keep up on maintenance like I probably should. 
I would almost say this is a drawback of solo RV living, especially if you're still working, working full-time, traveling full-time, and trying to keep things going in your life. Uh, it's really difficult to keep up on maintenance when you're doing everything by yourself. Well, no wonder the windows are leaking. There was hardly, like, no caulk at all left up here at all. Nothing. So... Um, the butyl tape, which should be between the window and the RV, is probably worn out too. Which, if I were going to do it right, I would do all that too. But um, that's a two-person job for these windows. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a bead of Dicor on it, and that should do it. Even though most of the old Dicor came off just by scraping it, I'm going to go ahead and rub it down with some gasoline anyway, just to get rid of any residue. I want to make sure the new Dicor I'm putting on is really going to stick, especially since I'm not replacing the butyl tape, which goes in the frame of the window. You'd have to take the whole window out to do that. And uh, that's not something I can do on this big window by myself. Okay, so that didn't take long at all. It's all cleaned up around the edges. I have a little bit more to do on the bottom here, but the top is all clean because there was hardly any caulk up there. So we're ready to die core. And this is where getting the angle cut on the tip correctly really comes in handy. I think I've always cut it straight across and with the angle you put the pointy side out and you lay it down. It's kind of hard to explain but you put the pointy side down and anyway you go across the seam of the window and the slant of the tip automatically puts it up see into the cracks it's kind of hard to explain but when it doesn't go on quite right i'm not afraid to use my fingers because i don't care what it looks like so i also sometimes use my fingers to level it out and to get it into the nooks and crannies because i want to make sure it's not going to leak all right i've got both windows done and it looks pretty good i'm pretty impressed with myself <laughs> I get better every time I do it. Practice makes perfect, right? But I have some extra die core left, so I'm going to go ahead and look at the front. And this mess, the overhang. All right, I've also been keeping an eye on this. Um... Richard pointed out that he saw shadows. I've been keeping an eye on it, but after Richard pointed out, I looked closer and it definitely needed some work. So I had some leftover decor, so I went ahead and did this as well. I did a, burn a turnabon tape here uh, to keep, see, there's a cover there. There's a band that covers a seam. I just used a turnabon tape because it was pretty, um, the, the gap between the strip and the roof was pretty thick. So I did both both Dicor and a turnabon tape on both sides. So I sealed both and you can see Richard's got a good eye. He pointed out that it looked like there were shadows. And like I said, I've been keeping an eye on it, but Richard's keen eye caused me to take a closer look and it's a good thing I did because there were a lot of gaps. So now that's done too. All right, well, it's been a couple weeks since I got my windows all resealed. I even drove through several hours of really hard rain and nothing is leaking. So I've had, uh, uh, I'm in the east, so there's a lot of rain here. I've had plenty of rain to test out my handiwork and everything is good. I've got no more wet cushions. I've got no more wet mattress when it rains. And I feel really good about the front that I resealed and driving in the rain. I've always been a little nervous about driving in the rain, afraid that that might be leaking because as you know driving kind of creates a vacuum and sucks all the uh, water into your RV so I'm gonna call that a success got my roof sealed got my window sealed we're good to go thank you all so much for hanging out with me I hope you found this helpful uh, do me a favor and check and make sure you're still subscribed to my channel and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up and let me know that you like my videos and that they're helpful. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. And yes, get my new hat on Etsy. Link in the video description below.